Hello? Happy Saturday. I was looking at my analytics today. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, no, don't do it. But I was like looking at my analytics today, which I like never, you like as a YouTube creator, dude with the camera. Like this will show you how serious I am about this stuff. Like I love to make videos, but like I'm not like into that like, oh, you have to meet this audience and that audience. I just really appreciate the people that love to watch my videos. But I never look at the analytics, right? Which let me just tell you, it's like 89% women that watch my videos. Hey girls! <laughs> Which I love because all of my life, my closest friends have always been women. So I really appreciate that. But, um, oh, I, I should show you what I'm doing, shouldn't I? I'm getting ready to actually go out and clean the front yard um, because my husband has been on my ass about that forever. And um, I'm like... Well, <laughs> he paid for it to get done in May, so now I either have to pay for it, but he, like, underbid his brother by $100. He said they were, he paid him $100, and they were out here for 12 hours. So I was like, well, I can either pay somebody, it's going to be, like, two or $300 to do this walkway, which I'm not paying now. That's ridiculous. Or I can um, go and um, do it myself. So I'm getting ready to go do it myself, but first, I'm doing a super long live stream tonight. I'm doing it from 7.30 to 10.30. If it goes well, I may do it tomorrow night, too. Um, but I'm making some Crystal Light Lemonade right now. So, three packages. Anyway, I never look at my analytics, right? And so, I was looking at my analytics earlier today. And um, I was noticing that, like, the average watch time on my video is about 20 minutes long. Like, there's only, like, 10% of people that are... Do you guys remember these spins from when you were a kid? I love these spins. They always remind me of Kool-Aid. My mom would always make Kool-Aid and put not enough sugar in there. Do you remember that? You would put, Mom, more sugar! Mom, more sugar! But anyway. Um, and then she'd always threaten to spank you with a wooden spoon. Although I don't think I was ever spanked. Not once in my childhood. Not because I was not a bad kid, but because my parents didn't believe in spanking. But anyway. Um, I went through... And I cleaned out, here are Alex's pizza rolls. Look at this. And the Toberlone that he bought in the duty free for his brother, because that's his favorite candy, but he hasn't given it to him yet. And then I cleaned out all of my meals that were, I bought all of these like, uh, here I'll show you, like these Luvo, Lovo meals. But like all of them had expired, so I threw out all of them, so that's for when I start my diet this upcoming Monday. I don't want to hear anybody saying, oh, he's never going to start a diet. Yes, I am. It's going to happen. But anyway, so, you okay, peeps? Honey, pee-pee. Pee-pee. Okay, he's fine. But anyway, um, I was noticing that people watch about 20 minutes of my video, and then they stop. And then they're just kind of done. <laughs> I don't know why at 20 minutes. I'm done. I'm not having any more, so... I was thinking about it, and I'm thinking about, clean up as you go, that's why our kitchen is always so clean, I was thinking about making um, my videos closer to like 25 minutes. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that's bad? Do you think it's junk? Should I not do that? Will you be upset? I know, and maybe I'll make a couple, you know, longer ones throughout the week. But it just seems to me like the shorter ones, people are watching more. Oh, that's too much ice. So, I don't know. What do you guys think about that? If you guys like the longer ones, and I'll keep the longer ones. I mean, I don't care. We have so much leftover lasagna, but I'm going to let my husband have that. Um, here's this person texting me about this meeting that we're supposed to have on Sunday. Hold on. People are never just like happy with what they get. You know what I mean? 
Anyway, so I'm doing a super live long live stream tonight. Super long live stream pajama party of the world! Oh my god, I can't wait. But first, I have to do the yard. And I'm uploading videos as we speak. I'm uploading, I did a hunt, a, my hunt a killer review. Since everybody seemed to like my blue apron one. So I thought, screw it. I'm going to do my uh, hunt a killer box review too. Because I thought it was total bullshit crap. And then um, I'm uploading my vlog from Booktubeathon. And um, I haven't got a chance to read today at all. And then I'm going to um, go do the yard. And then go for a swim. And then do my live stream. So... Maybe I'll vlog from the pool. If you're lucky, I don't know. <laughs> okay, you guys, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, you guys, I'm like totally bawling my eyes out. But like I just, I've been on my You Now stream and I just, we did this like long party tonight. And I just hit like a million likes on there. And it's like crazy because like, but I'm just like this dude in the middle of nowhere. And I hit a million likes and it's like, Anyway, I told him I wasn't going to cry anymore. I started talking about it on my damn camera, and then I started crying about it again. So, let me show right there a million likes. Oh, my God, I got another monkey. Oh, my God. Look at this. Who is it? Suzanne. Thank you so much, Suzanne. Oh, my God. I cannot believe it. People have been so awesome to me tonight. Suzanne and Tia and Autumn. I haven't done this for a while on here. And Leah and Sam and everybody. Oh my God, Brent Morgan Music. Thank you so much. Bree's a subscriber now. Oh my God. So this has been really, really incredible. So I wanted to catch it on my vlog. And I will talk more about it in a second. When I vlog tonight, I'm going to talk all about this on here. Oh, my God. I just got another monkey. Oh, my fuck. Oh, my God. I'm at 1.1 million likes, you guys. Holy fuck. Look at this. Suzanne. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Suzanne, this is incredible. You are so awesome. Oh, my God. This has totally made my night. <laughs> I just said in my vlog, I said, I'm just like some dude in the middle of nowhere that like two years ago, nobody knew. And like, here I am on here and people are being so nice. I really, really appreciate it. Oh, my God. It's crazy. Lisa, thank you so much. Oh, my God. <laughs> Two million, Sam said. Two million? Two million? Oh, my God. Oh, wait. There's Vintage coming across. Thank you for all you do, Courtney. Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> Look, Junebug Smuggler. Amazing. Wolfpack. Yay. Courtney. Yay. Where is Dustin? He needs to get one on here. <laughs> Tracy Lynn, thank you. She says, Suzanne, yes. Lisa says, I love his monkey. Everybody's like, there's Tia. Where's Autumn? There's Dustin. There's Eric. Love you, Peter. Wolfpack is the best. Tracy. I'm gonna get, everybody's going like fucking crazy. This is unreal. So anyway, I'm going to shut this off for right now so I can get back to this. Okay, I'm back. I am still kind of reeling, you guys. Like, that was crazy tonight. It looks so bad. I just devoured McDonald's because I haven't eaten today. So much for my diet today, but... I need to charge my phone. I, um... I sat in the parking lot of McDonald's and watched an episode of this drag race, this teen drag race called Flammable. Um, they never send home or pick the body. I don't know. Like, whenever I watch those drag races, I, who I think should be in the top is always in the bottom and vice versa. But anyway, um, so I did this You Now stream tonight, and I was doing, like, this big pajama party, three-hour thing, 
and I was really excited about it like all day today it's all I thought about I was like I want to go to the pool and then like I was at the pool and the guy that like keeps the pool clean he and his daughter were there and they were like talking to me and his daughter was like my age anyway um I know she said she was 56 I think but anyway I was like um like just so excited about it today you know like I I um I don't know why I'm so emotional tonight. I just like I uh you know like two years ago, I kind of like a year ago. Like I didn't really know like what was next for me, if that makes sense. Like did you ever feel like that? Like when you've been in something so long, you don't know what's next. Like not just career wise, but just like with anything, you know? And like, this is not a career for me yet because I can't financially live off what I make. I wish I could. Um, I think sometimes those YouTubers and people like that, that can financially live off what they make, don't really realize how grateful they should be to not have to like, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not discrediting the time and the effort they put into the content that they create, you know, but like to do something that you love and that you're passionate about and to be able to live financially that way, I have always felt like it's such a blessing to me, you know, and to have worked the majority of my life helping other addicts and alcoholics, I have just felt like so honored, you know, that I could make money to pay my bills that way. And, um, so it's just been awesome. But like two years ago, I, I kind of went through this period where I was like, I don't know what's next for me. I didn't know if I wanted to write another book. I didn't know if, you know, I just didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. And Starting my booktube channel, you know, like a last a year ago, May, was a total fluke. I had started following all these booktubers like Jesse the Reader and Benjamin Atomes and George Lester and all these uh, Natasha, uh, Natasha, Tashopoulos and um, Tiernan, the booktuber. I just followed all, Connor O'Brien, Ginger Reed's Laney. I started following all these booktubers and I became obsessed with booktube. And I thought, well, I could do this, you know? And then to like start booktube and have that go into this just on a fluke. This is where I say, wake up every day with the excitement of not knowing what the day is going to hand you. You know, whether it's trying a new kind of pancakes or hitting a million likes on you now. Because you never know what that day is going to bring, you know? And, um, and it's not always good, you know? Some of the worst things that have happened to me have happened to me on a random Tuesday that I never expected. But, um... I think, uh, so I started just making these funny videos, you know, on my main channel with true videos. Like I spoke the, tr I spoke my truth of what I saw and what I thought and that I thought they were funny and these other YouTubers and I've done that ever since. I've never made a video that I didn't believe what I was putting up, whether it's a review or a rant or whatever, you know, and people like responded to it. I guess I had had my so-called healthy life channel up like two years ago when I was going to start like a diet thing. <laughs> but like I hadn't done anything with it. But so then you know people liked it. You guys liked it. You thought I was funny. And um and then in January 
I started the vlog channel and mostly because I was scared that my main channel was dying because it wasn't doing anything anymore. I was losing subs every day. I don't know if you guys remember that. That's scary. But I was losing subs every day. Like, <clears throat> from November to February. It just was ridiculous. And I thought there was a glitch on my channel and I didn't understand what was going on. And, and I thought, you know, like, I love doing this so much. I don't want to do this if people aren't going to get the notifications and they're not going to get noticed. And, you know, and that was what it was really about to me. And if you've watched this vlog, then you know what I'm talking about because I used to talk about that on here. And I've kind of like, well, it's a fight I don't really fight anymore, you know, but. And then, like, I just on a fluke started you now one night because somebody was like, do a live stream, do a live stream. And so I did. And that was when I did the chicken nugget thing. And I never thought it would turn into this thing where, like, I know your names and I know you guys and I've made friends and, um, you email me personal things about your life and you message me personal things about your life and and I don't want to single anybody out by forgetting them so I'm not going to mention anybody's names but there are some people that have been very very nice to me that have been very very good to me and you guys know who you are a couple of you that just made tonight like there's no way I mean I could there's no way I would have hit a million likes it's not me doing it you guys did it and um but like when I got on tonight, like I, I didn't, I thought I might make a, a lot of likes because of like being on for three hours, but I thought maybe like 200,000, you know, or something like that. I never, in, I never in a million years thought I'd hit a million likes. I just didn't, it's just surreal to me. And that I was the number one broadcaster. Like that's the cool thing for me too. You know, I can't believe it. And, um... I got like over a hundred shares on it and people were just phenomenal. And it was like, even once I hit a million, people just kept on giving me like the monkey things, the fruit falls and the cannons. And I just was like, there became a point where I just, I felt a little overwhelmed because like, I don't know that I'll ever be able to like, you know, really own. Like I, I like I had this moment tonight when I was doing it, and I was like, "Why do you guys like watching me?" Like I don't know what it is, you know. But like I wasn't like saying it to be a phony. Like and then like as I said it, I said it kind of jokingly. But then like I kind of had this moment where I really thought about it, and I thought, "But really, why do they watch me?" You know, like. I mean, so many people say to me on a daily basis, like, "You lift my spirits. You make my days better." You know, like. But like what? Like. That means so much to me, you know, like, I love that I can do that. And, um, I think that like, you know, my dad always said to me when I was growing up, he said, it, it doesn't really matter what you do. He said, you know, I don't care what you do with your life, but, um, make sure that you contribute to the world and that you're of service to others. And, um, I don't think my dad would get this, but I think that he would be very proud of me and, um, and not for getting a million likes, but for that. The fact that even if just one person out there says to me, you've made my, my life better, or you've made my day better, you know, like. And I, you know, like I watch so many YouTubers and I watch so many, like I, I really feel like I'm just like you guys, you know, and it's like, not until I did this did I really realize because I really always want to be able to continue to contact you know respond to each of you and I like tonight I try to answer I try to respond to some of the comments before I went to the pool and on my video and you know like I always want to be able to like answer every snap and answer every tweet and on and on and on you know and like I've been bad about emails this month and I've gotten behind and so I was trying to answer some emails tonight. I answered probably like 10 or 20 of them and it's like, uh, and, um, I don't know. Like I think a lot of YouTubers out there don't really understand the interaction they have with us, you know?
there's so many of them that I watch that I feel like I like I know them, you know. And I don't just I guess want people to feel like they know me. I want people to know me. I want to make my life open to people. So you know and. This thing happened, and I'm like, like, I don't want to say it because I don't know if she watches my videos with her son, and I don't want to ruin it for him. But somebody like, I don't, so I'm not gonna say the name, but if he's watching right now, he knows who it is. But like, so this woman that watches all of my videos, and she came into my live stream, and she was guested like a week ago, and or two weeks ago, and her son is gonna be nine and she emailed me and she said that you, she said you're his favorite person in the whole world and like is there any way that you could give him a shout out in a video for his birthday I'm somebody's favorite person you know like I used to be the person nobody wanted around. You know, in my addiction, I was the person that caused everybody problems. I just was misery to everybody around me, my friends and my family. And then, when I was growing up, you know, like, it's like kids were embarrassed of me. No nine-year-olds wanted to hang out with me. Then nine-year-olds didn't think I was cool. This other kid reached out to me, you know, and he said that he had this crush on this guy that recently came out and um, that he thought that he had was getting everything that he wanted. And, um, but he was very androgynous and that as soon as another, this other guy, gay guy, walked in the room and he was more masculine than this guy that he liked stopped giving him an attention. It was giving it all to him and he didn't know what to do and should he... And then I said, don't you dare. I said, you know, be yourself. And so I've spent 45 years of my life learning to just be myself. And the second that I figured that out, people started to like me. You know, I had this girl come into my live stream tonight, Marley who's 17 years old, going to be the valedictorian of her class, going to a great school. She wants to go to Emory. If you guys were in there tonight, you know what I'm talking about. And um, beautiful young lady. Just such a cool, just such a cool young lady. You know, and um, she's sitting there talking about how, she says, I'm your biggest fan. You know, and I'm thinking, I graduated from high school with a 186. My counselor laughed at me and said that community college was out of the question, you know? And here's this girl that thinks I'm worth something that's like a valedictorian of her class, you know? Like, if you had known the person I was when I was using, people like me do not deserve love like this. And I think, like, as far as I've come in my life and in my sobriety of being sober for 22 years, I think it's still hard to swallow that I don't know. It's just hard sometimes, you know, that I'm not still that person. That's a piece of shit. You know, you don't really know what unconditional love is until you lose it. Like, I really don't believe that you do. And I've talked about this on here before, but, like, my mother loved me unconditionally. And, um, although, I'm telling you, this YouTube and You Now stuff would have scared the shit out of her. She would have been like, I don't like you putting your whole life out there. I think, you know, it's scary. People are going to use it against you. They're going to hurt. She was always afraid I was going to get hurt. She never knew when I was getting hurt because I kept it from her, you know? But I know my mother. She was disappointed at me. She was disappointed at me at several points in my life, but... I know my mother. And my mother... My, and my father is exactly the same way. Which is an interesting concept to me that, you know, they're very different people, but they, they love it in similar ways. Kind of. Kind of. 
even if I had done like the worst act in the entire world, let's say, you know, whatever, I was in prison, I think my mom would have still come and visited me. And she would have said, I do not like these actions. I do not condone them. But you're still my son and I still love you. And then you lose that, you know? You lose that person in your life that loves you unconditionally. And it's like... But like, where do I go now? And I'm sure if I seriously fucked up, I would lose all of you. But like, right now, it very much like feels like the love that my mom gave me, you know? Not just tonight, not just with a million lives. I mean, that's awesome, don't get me wrong, but like overall, you know, the message, just the whole, the, the sum of it all. And I think that all of you deserve to have that, you know? Like, every single person out there deserves to feel that way. talking to Dustin today, Dustin Daly, and um, my good Judy Dustin, good YouTube friend, but also my just very good friend in life, and um, we were talking about subscriber counts and things like that, you know, as we often do, talking about different people's subscriber counts growing and this and that, and I said, you know, I said, I've kind of reached this point. You know, it's hard. When your channel grows very quickly at some point, like, you become a little consumed with looking at numbers, even if you want to say, I don't give a shit about that stuff. That's why I've always said, when people say they don't care about their subs and their views, they're a liar. Because you want people to watch your videos, you know? And the more people that are watching your videos, the more it feels good. It feels like, wow, I put out something that somebody wants to watch, you know? I made somebody laugh, I made somebody cry, I made somebody feel something. And I said to him today, I said, you know, neither one of us is very willing to compromise at the expense of getting a ton of subscribers. And I said, you know, I said, there's a lot of videos I could put out there for shock value or you know, prank people or, you know, just clickbait the shit out of stuff. I mean, there are things that I can do. I know that. And, um, I said, I'm not willing to do that. I said, because my experience and the, and there's a lot of really like nice, like YouTubers out there. Like, you know, Samantha Maria, I love her, you know? And like, I think Colleen Ballinger is just amazing. And Shane Dawson, I think, is a really good guy. I think, you know, uh, Joey Graceffa, I think, is a really neat guy. I think, you know, Tyler Oakley has done some really, uh, really positive things. And the people around him, like Grace. and um, But, you know, I was saying, like, at where I'm at today and doing drama videos, like, there has to be some kind of lesson to it. You know, or I've got to be informing or educating, even if it's done in a funny way that people relate to it and they walk away and they go, yeah, like, I totally relate to that. That was shit, right? But you get something from it. Like, I don't care, but, like, that will be the substance of my videos. Like, that's my intention. Like, I want to be the funny guy that people relate to on my vlog, but on my funny videos that they, like, walk away from and they're like, okay, but I get something from that. Like, I totally relate, you know? Like, okay, like, yes. And maybe I'll be different or, you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be the shit of YouTube who grows and grows and grows just because I put out a bunch of content that's shock value content. And there's so many YouTubers out there right now that I feel like are doing that just for the numbers. And it's really hard, like... When you talk to them and they're like, oh yeah, this is what, you know, I'm making a month or this is what I, how many this, how many that I get. And it's like, it would be so easy to do that. And it's like, I'm not really willing to sacrifice my soul for that. I'm just not. I would rather stay true to who I am 
and if my channel stays where it's at and grows a little bit over time, I'm completely fine with that. I love what I'm doing. I love what we have cultivated here as the Wolf Pack. And I don't mean that to sound like some crazy family kind of bullshit. I'm not, you know, listen, I know what it is. I don't think that we all like sitting in a big hug circle and love on each other. I know that, right? But I do know what we are, and we're a bunch of people that cultively, or cultively, cultively, no, that was scary. That was a Freudian slip. Uh, we are a bunch of people that collectively come together and watch my videos, and I'm not any kind of, like, whatever, leader. I'm just the person that's making the fucking videos, and people are commenting in the comment sections and joining in my live streams, and we collectively come together, and we laugh, and we remember each other, and we give each other positive quotes throughout the day, and, you know, tweet each other funny things, and it doesn't have to be mean or harsh to anybody. And that's what the wolf pack is. Just have each other's backs. You know, wolves are sometimes lone creatures, but they're, they often run in a pack. And I think that's a lot of what we are. You know, we're people that can make it on our own, but sometimes we need to be together. And I don't think of that as any kind of, like, sick kind of, I'm trying to mislead people. And I like the idea of that, you know? I think that's cool. There have been people out there that, uh... You know, people message me all the time and are like, if you ever just need somebody to talk to, blah, 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 here's my number. Now listen, and when I say this, I do not need to get bombarded with messages. But people are like, here's my number. If you ever need somebody to talk to you, you've helped me through so many nights. I've picked up the phone and called some of those people when I, that I've known pretty well, you know, through my comment sections or Twitter or whatever. <laughs> just don't ever want to feel like I'm not approachable or relatable. That's my, always my number one goal, you know? It's like, like the one thing I love about Ellen DeGeneres is no matter how big she gets, it's like, she's like the people's person. Do you know what I mean? She's kind of like Princess Diana, but to like celebrity. I mean, like, I think she's so relatable. I think you could just imagine her in her kitchen having a cup of coffee or coming out there and doing her dance up and down. I mean, I love her. I love Ellen DeGeneres so much because of that, you know? Like, I feel like she's a people's princess, kind of. Like, and I think she does positive things. She doesn't do negative things, you know? And it's so funny when people ask me who inspires me and I say people like Oprah or Ellen DeGeneres. Maybe that's, my, maybe my goal. My end goal is to have a TV talk show. I would love it. Oh my God, can you imagine? Although I'd have to really train myself not to cuss. But I do believe the universe speaks to us. And what kind of, whatever kind of spiritual way that that means for you, whatever kind of higher power. But my God does not talk to me in coincidences. I'm not a big believer in coincidences, you know? God, what a beautiful night. What an amazing night. How much fun. And I'm getting back on and doing it tomorrow. I had so much fun. I, now I know I probably won't hit a million likes tomorrow night, but that's okay. It was a blast tonight. And I'll never forget it. Even if I never hit anywhere near close to that again, it was one night of absolute magic. It was totally cool. And I captured it in my vlog. And I don't know who said that, so whoever that was, leave a comment section below and say, it was me, I told you to do it. But somebody said, go grab your vlog camera. And I'm so happy they did. I'm so happy I have that moment captured forever. So, but anyway, I just want to say I love you guys so much. You, you know, you give me such wonderful messages about how I make your days, but I don't think that you really will ever be able to conceptualize how much you make mine, seriously. I wake up in the morning and I think about what kind of videos I want to make through the day that you guys will enjoy. And I post them and I wait to see what the comments are and I read the comments. And then, you know, I go take a swim and I come back and I'm like, how many more comments are there? And then I get ready to go on a live stream and I tweet you guys and I read the snaps. It's just, it's my life today and I love it. I love it so much, you know? And even though I make more money, obviously, in my career, it's funny because in some degree, that's becoming secondary to this passion that I have with YouTube that I never even... In a, if you had said to me two years ago, this is what your life will look like, I would have been like, you're full of shit. I, I wouldn't have believed it. I just wouldn't have believed it. And now, it's that's my life, and it's awesome, and I love it, you know? And it all started because I liked watching YouTube videos. Just, it's crazy to me, you know? So anyway... 
And I haven't even been on my main channel for a year. That's September 1st. It's the first video that, like, my first real video that I posted because that's, like, my first drama video. Um, so I will have to do something big for that, too, because that uh, anniversary is coming up, and I'm excited about that. So, And two more days of Booktubeathon. I didn't read for shit today, but I did listen to two hours of uh, Six of Crows while I was doing um, lawn business. I did my whole lawn today after I made my videos, after I went and got coffee before I swam. So I love you guys, and thank you so much. I mean, I just don't even know how much more to say about it, and I swear to God, I'm not going to continue to make every vlog about how much you mean to me because it gets a little redundant after a while, and you guys are probably like, oh my God, enough of this. So anyway, I love you guys. And thank you for tonight. It made my it made my wildest dreams come true. It was pure magic. I love you. Bye.